Hey YouTube, it's Justin answering your questions from joincfe.com slash knock. You ask questions, I'll give my best answer to them in a short little video. Tutorials and suggestions, check out joincfe.com slash suggest. Um, and all of that stuff will always be in the comments below, um, or at least the description below for any given video. Parth asked today, um, can you predict the future of Python Django in the context of markability? Marketability, excuse me. Um, so how long will Django and Python be marketable? Well, that's gonna rely on so many factors, I think, because there's a lot of there's a lot of things that like we as developers don't necessarily know what's gonna happen. For example, if someone like Apple or Google brought out something that was like Python and it was just so much better that a ton of developers just flocked to it, it might change how we look at you and use Python and Django. I don't think those things are going to happen. Now let's think about Python, for example. Python itself is used so much outside the context of just web, right? So Django is a web framework written in Python. So really when we're talking about the future of markability of Django, we should actually acknowledge the future of markability of Python. And Python's actually been growing in popularity. So it's not, it's not declining like some of the other languages. So Python itself is used in so many different applications already. It's used in animation, right? So Pixar uses it for a lot of the software that they use. I believe that's still the case. It, it was a long time, it was a few years ago and a few months ago it was, uh, but itself is used in that application itself, right? Now, if we talk about a, another application, data scientists and scientists in general use Python to calculate all sorts of things because the language itself is fairly easy to learn and then also fairly easy to implement when you're wanting to analyze a big set of data, which is something else that's really cool about it. So those two applications are probably not gonna go away anytime soon, right? So Python itself is probably gonna be around for a while because all of the people that have learned how to code in Python, there's, there's a natural tendency to not want to have to learn the next thing all the time unless there's a huge benefit for it, right? There's a reason that some of these old database languages are still around. There's a reason SQL is still around is because like millions of people, probably millions, maybe hundreds of thousands know SQL still and they still work in SQL on a daily basis and companies aren't that quick to change what they're working with. And Python's a good example of that as well is that all of these beginners that are starting to learn it now and then start using it in their jobs, not necessarily just in web development, but also in all these other software that we already talked about, those sorts of things are going to be around for a long time. So as far as the future is concerned, like definitely, I would say definitely for the next five years, Python will still be a major player. Now Django will be a major player as well in the web space if people like us continue to learn and, and implement Django into our projects because that supports everything that the developers behind Django do. And then if you are watching this, going to the Django conferences and, and you know reading up on Django and, and supporting other Django developers and other Django teachers, all those sorts of things will help Django stay around for a long time. But there's already so much power in Django that I think that even if a small group of us, you know, switch to something different, Django will still be around for a long time because Python will be around for a long time and the developers of Django are awesome and are making a really, really solid system that, you know, it's going to be around for, for a long time, hopefully. Now, that, uh, that again, if some new technology comes out that none of us can predict, that's going to change so many things that, that would affect what I'm saying here. But as far as the marketability of it for the future, at least for the next five years, probably the next 10 years, Python is gonna be a major player. And so will Django. I look at Django as being more of the cloud layer for a lot of our services. You, you, you hear about this a lot. It's like, how do we connect IoT and the internet of things, right? How are we gonna do that exactly? I think Django has a role to play there. Um, and it's something that I'm really interested in myself because Django building a backend framework and a REST API service in Django is fairly easy. It's actually not that challenging to do. And once you understand how to do it, then you can extend what Django can do. And I think this is true for other developers as well. Once they realize how easy and how powerful it is to do these things, then it can connect with these IoT devices. 
The reason I bring up IoT is because a lot of IoT devices have Python installed on them. Like the Raspberry Pi is a really good example of something that has Python already there, so you can use Python to control physical objects, right? So the digital thing can control these physical sensors or objects, and that's where if you're already writing in Python to control these physical objects, then it would make sense that your server side technology or where you're storing this data would also be in Python, right? We're not even talking about JavaScript or web stuff here. We're really just talking about how an IoT device would communicate to a server to store that data. And that will likely be done using Python on both ends, which is really, really cool. The other side of it is uh, Python and, and some Django developers believe that JavaScript is becoming more and more like Python, or at least the syntax is becoming more and more like Python. So we might see JavaScript and Python become one, which would change a little bit on how all of that stuff is done. Now, of course, that's speculation, but um, the idea that Python is going to go away anytime soon, I think, is a little, little far away. Um, so this is a little bit longer of a video answer because I, I think this is something important to think about, especially when you're starting a new project and you're wanting to, and you're wondering, oh, should I go with Python and Django, or should I go with something else, or should I learn more about Python or Django? And why should I? I think I could talk about this for a very long time with all the other things in there. So thanks for the question. That's a really good one. Again, answering your questions at joincfe.com slash knock. See you in the next one.